right, guys. I don't know what this one is, uh, but I have a thought. And I think I already have two of them. And Watch Gang, I think, actually sent me one um, for free by accident. So I need to let them know because I want to be honest. Because I'm not a big fan of free watches unless it says, Hey, Todd, here's a free watch. So I don't even know why I'm getting this other one. But this is actually a really nice watch. The other two that I haven't actually reviewed yet, they just opened up. They are... I mean, I guess I'll end up releasing those reviews before this one, but it's nice. They come with their own travel pouch, which is pretty sweet. And let's see what it is. Oh, damn. That is pretty sweet. Look at that. I like that. All right, well, let's see what I can find out. All right, guys. So I'm becoming increasingly excited about these Charles Hutton uh, watches. Uh, they're fantastic and very well priced. I am super impressed. Um, so first thing, you know, the box, I'm going to get rid of it. Um, it's nothing special, and that's not where the money's being spent, which it shouldn't. But you do get this really nice travel case with all Charles Hutton watches, which is fantastic. I mean, it really, really is perfect. I mean, this is something I absolutely can use. It's nice, soft inside, very soft. Um, it's perfect. So this watch, uh, this Charles Hutton watch, really, truly is just something else. Um, I was really impressed with the last one that I did. And gosh, I mean, it really is just a fantastic watch. Now, it's got, um, I forget what it's called, but I'll put it at the bottom, but it's it's uh, retro, retro date, um, retro day of the week, I suppose, and then uh, the date also goes from, from right to left, <laughs> and then it, it's it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I, I think it's cool. Uh, it's kind of kitschy. I don't know how useful it is. I mean, you know, I can see that you, when you look at it, you would say, okay, so it's the 8th, um, and you know, that works, and it's... It is Wednesday, um, but you know, I don't know. I mean, they could have just tried to do something normal, but uh, it is a nice, it is a nice looking dial. And I'm going to put a, a zoom on, zoom up picture there so you can kind of see it because I'm probably not doing it justice this way. But it is quite nice. Um, I think it looks really good. And I'll just put a picture of the uh, the case back as well so you can get a good zoom in of that. So MSRP, uh, this is one of their more expensive ones uh, for this for this tier of watches that they sell. Uh, and interestingly enough, it is very affordable. Uh, this is this one is priced at two hundred and seventy dollars. You can see the MSRP right here, uh, two seventy. And I will tell you, um, this is a very high quality watch uh, for for that price. It is totally worth it. The value of this watch is, my opinion, um, I'd have to say this watch feels, it feels like a $350 watch. I would say $300, $350. Now, oddly enough, this one is more expensive than one that I got and reviewed earlier uh, last week, I think it was, which was $225 MSRP. Uh, and I felt that one was actually worth more. Felt like a four to four hundred fifty dollar watch, but um, this one just because it doesn't really have a lot of uh, features in particular, and it's just a um, pretty generic watch. You know, it's it's only my opinion, of course, but I think that the value of this watch greatly exceeds uh, what they're asking for. I mean, it really is a fantastic watch for the price. I mean, it's just great, um, as you can see. 100 meter water resistance, uh, which is which is pretty fantastic, right? Uh, my opinion, that is sort of a de facto standard of what you need for watches like this. So absolutely perfect. You can take this swimming. You can do this. You can wear this watch to do anything you want to do. Um, it, I believe it's also sapphire. 
if I'm not mistaken. The other one was, this one is uh, three layer coated sapphire, um, which, is, which is good. So it's scratch resistant, right? So you can't really scratch it. It does not mean that it's as impact resistant, but it is scratch resistant. Um, but again, uh, this is uh, a great all around, um, I don't want to call it casual. It's not a dress watch certainly, but it is something you could wear with a suit if you wanted to, but it's also something you could wear uh, with pretty much anything. This is an, an uh, you know, an all, all use watch. It's just, it really is fantastic. It has great design. It's uh, brushed uh, vertically this way. And then it is uh, sort of um, a matte finish with uh, polished rings, uh, really nice. It has the, uh, the name insignia on the crown. It's got a very nice one uh, written on the back there um, because it's a British watch. <laughs> it's so great Britain. Uh, it has Charles Hutton on the face uh, and also has it uh, there on the, the buckle. Um, what is nice about this is that uh, it, it is actually one of the ones where it's like that. Now this is kind of cheap. This is where you're making up for the price. Um, I prefer more of the, uh, the, the the billet ones, but this is still good. I mean, Wenger comes with these. Um, some of the higher end ones do too. So this is nothing, this is no loss here, right? You're not looking at it. Um, but this isn't necessarily the same level of stainless steel as uh, as this is. This is billet, right? This is stamped here, uh, as is this probably. This is polished, but, but that's okay. Um, it is a good solid watch band and I like the thickness. Right? I've complained about some of the other ones where they are stainless steel, but they're thin and, and janky. And, and this is nice, solid thickness. Um, even though you can see that these are drilled here, believe it or not, these were also drilled. And then they were laser, laser welded and polished so that you can't see it to a fine finish. Uh, it's very nice because uh, they polish the, this inner, inner ring here. Uh, and brushed on the outside and then of course on this the, the absolute bezel is is polished uh, Movement is a Japanese movement. I forget what it is, but I'll show pictures here uh, Decent movement Nothing too fancy, but uh, gets the job done It's not a mecha quartz, which is okay. Some of the others are mecha quartz. I think you saw one before. This is just a standard quartz Still really good uh, very reliable uh, let's go ahead and do some of the measurements. Forty-two, twenty-two, and I'm going to say eleven and a half. Oh, I'm getting better. Yeah, I'm going to say eleven and a half. Well, no, twelve is yeah, eleven and a half. Uh, lug to lug. 45 and let's check out the weight one seventy okay yeah we'll say an even one seventy so it's got good weight to it and let's check out the loom uh, it's gonna be hard for me so I will probably post a picture later because it's too bright out and I don't have my closed up hermit workshop. Um, it actually doesn't look like there is any. So, but I'll take a picture uh, in the dark so you can see. So again, oddly enough on the price, um, this is a fantastic watch. Uh, I, I really love this watch. It is definitely worth more than the 270, but I do find it interesting how this is one of their most expensive ones of this tier. And yet I found the even cheaper ones to be, uh, have slightly higher value. I guess it's just all subjective, right? But I will say Charles Hutton, what I really like about them is it's no nonsense pricing. This is a great price for a great watch. Uh, so, and they did not pay me. Uh, this is a watch I bought, <laughs> so I keep it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think. I'm interested to know what you guys think of this brand, if you've heard of it. Uh, it is from the UK, uh, assembled in, in uh, Hong Kong, 
uh, from parts all around the uh, the world. So I think the crystal comes from Spain, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, I think the case is uh, machined in the UK as well. But uh, yep, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that bell if you want to be notified anytime I feel like saying something. So I don't blame you if you don't. <laughs> but I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.